citizens of the world, we are anonymous. Muskegon, Michigan, occupy your land. Explore your beautiful dunes and only leave footprints. Recently I have been enjoying my freedom of speech in many different ways. Commonly I have been out picketing different political slash social views. And also words of encouragement. I believe socializing by expressing our opinions is one of the most powerful tools we have to balance our indifferences and heal our wounded constitution. When governments fear the people, there is liberty. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. Thomas Jefferson, Muskegon is changing and from what I can see not for the best. We have a wonderful farmer's market downtown now, and many different businesses downtown. It makes me sad hearing about all the violence happening all over Muskegon County. Society needs to reinforce respecting motivation back into the youth of tomorrow. Forget expanding the jail's capacity. Someday and I hope it is soon. We must realize that locking people in cages is inhumane and impractical in most cases. Let's focus on rehabilitation. And stop locking people in cages. Why do the Muskegon Police Department officers go out of their way to trample on the U.S. Constitution almost on a daily basis? This I would love an answer for. Especially when they are protecting citizens that call 911 either because they are offended by my opinion or my opinion about a business upsets them. Both of which are protected free speech. The Muskegon police force needs to stop defending businesses when it comes to trampling the rights of others. Photography is not a crime. Picketing is not a crime. Nor is sharing thoughts on any street corner. Sidewalks are public forums. And you do not control who can and cannot use them. The harassment ends today. No victim, no crime. Every encounter with the Muskegon PD results in an illegal detention of my persons. I am never suspected of any crime. When I invoke my rights the officers get aggressive and even threaten me with arrest, kidnapping, and holding me captive for following the Michigan state law as it is written. It is my right to remain silent. If I am not detained I will not give you my ID. Also I will be on my way. Good day. All it takes is a change of action. I have called numerous times only to be stonewalled by secretaries. I have a time-sensitive trial and these public officials refuse to return a call promptly. Shame on them. Call Chief Lewis and Captain Fenwick. Main. Desk. 231-724-6750. Fax. 231-722-5140. Ask them how a citizen can receive a trespassing citation for being on a public sidewalk. Ask Chief Lewis why he cannot return a call. Unless it was to send multiple goons to harass a peaceful protest. I have here the reporting officer's narrative. Which explains that I was picketing a concert at Heritage Landing. My sign said do what you love. And love what you do. I was on the bicycle trail slash sidewalk and told the officer I do not believe I have to leave public property. He advised me that I would be cited if I did not leave. I asked for a citation and because the officer refused to move in a timely manner I left. He was about 25 minutes. And I asked Officer Nadar standing by me if I was detained. He said, no. So I proceeded down the sidewalk. Officer R.W. Smith acted in an aggressive manner. It was obvious the security personnel, Shiree, and Officer Smith knew each other. After speaking for about 10 minutes Officer Smith approached me alone. He asked me, why I was wearing a mask. I responded, sir, I do not believe wearing a mask is illegal. How can I help you? He started telling me how the security wants me to leave and I asked him if I was required to leave by law. Officer Smith did not like this. He immediately demanded my ID and threatened me with arrest, kidnap, and capture if I did not provide it to him. I still advised Officer Smith that it was not a state requirement for me to provide my ID to him unless he suspected me of committing a crime. Immediately he said, I suspect you of trespassing and you have one last warning to give me your ID. After hearing I was being suspected of a crime I handed my ID, without hesitation, although I did not feel this was lawful, because the officer used that as his last excuse when his first two failed. Officer Smith knew I was on public property. And as a matter of fact he mentions it numerous times in his narrative report. This was harassment. Just to get me to leave a public forum and to suppress my opinion. I do not agree with this. I was being respectful of others' space. And simply was trying to spread words of encouragement. So, L.T. Lukowski who was very rude on the phone. 
I was seeking his opinion about public forum in the city of Muskegon. Captain Fenwick magically disappeared as soon as this case developed and Chief Lewis must not have an opinion about public forums in the city of Muskegon either. How can you enforce the law if you don't understand it enough to explain it to us citizens? Have you forgotten who you work for? Well, just in case that is the issue at your police department, it will be fixed in no time. Don't let anyone suppress your opinions. Don't spread hate and your speech is protected. Everyone from all areas of your life will try to pose some authority over you and your opinion. But just remember do what you love, and love what you do just don't infringe on anyone else's rights. Don't forget to call the Muskegon Police Department and let them know how you feel about this situation. Call Chief Lewis and Captain Fenwick. Main Desk, 231-724-6750 Fax, 231-722-5140 also you may ask for Lt. Lukowski, R. W. Smith, or Liz Parker. If you speak with Mrs. Parker please ask her to return my phone call regarding the public forums. Thank you. We are watching. Expect us.